so we uh, came up with the concept for this project based on um, those questions that we had about when we are being watched and how we're being watched and how that footage is being used against or for our safety. And so it was just a big kind of question that we wanted answered. So we set out to find out more about the cameras that we see in our everyday lives. We sent each group member to different buildings and went around and just found what cameras that we could, snapped a picture of it, and then uploaded it to our map. I came into one of the buildings on campus, started taking pictures with my phone just to document what kind of cameras we saw on campus, and immediately was met with some resistance from um, faculty and administrators who informed me that it wasn't in my best interest to continue uh, taking pictures of the cameras that I saw and essentially kicked me out of the building. Even though you don't realize you're being watched, you are, even when you feel like you're in a, a safe environment, like a college campus. And I found that even the smallest places that you go um, on a day-to-day -day basis are being surveyed and people are watching you. Um, for, for instance, when you're on campus, you've got cameras like the one behind me that are watching every single movement as students pass up and down um, these corridors on campus. Where cameras generally were located were areas where high traffic and less, I mean, more of like the student union, the library, the activity center. We found out that most of them, the feeds aren't even being watched most of the time. This is the um, engineering and computer science building. It is the building that has the most crime on campus um, reported, and it, we've only picked up three cameras inside that building. In a big uh, public place like a mall, you'd expect to see cameras, but it's fascinating to see that even in the smallest of places like a public bathroom, that you would have people watching you through a camera to make sure that you weren't doing anything suspicious. We're still working on finding out exactly who is watching these cameras and why they have cameras where they do. So I would just like to know who's, who's watching them and what they're doing with the recordings that they have of us. If there are cameras up, then you're, you should be allowed to know who's watching these feeds and when they're watching these feeds. Yeah, and what they do and what they can do with the footage as well. A lot of these cameras, they're said to have feeds to the police department, but from what I've been talking with like some of the um, tech people that run media services and stuff like that, most of these cameras are closed circuit per building. And that also the fact that um, most of these cameras are installed, but some are, hard, are not even working or not even plugged in or not even networked or something like that. So the f it brings into a whole new aspect that cameras are really there for the psychological effect of sort of morphing people into the mindset that don't do this because there is a possibility of you being watched. Every day, People are watching Times Square to make sure that no suspicious activity is going on. People are watching the most important areas um, in our country to make sure that you know we're being kept safe. But what they're using that footage for and how we're being dissected as Americans and as a, you know, a population, we never really know. All these cameras are around and you have no idea that they're there. And they're recording your daily life every day. They know exactly where I am. It's just like open my eyes, and it's just kind of—I don't know if "scary" is the right word, but it's—it's it's definitely. I look at it differently than the way I used to. It's important for people to know that they are being watched, whether it's working against their rights or not, and whether or not there's a you know a creepy factor in that, and whether or not people would be interested in knowing that they're being watched and why. As for privacy, I, I don't really think it exists as much as it used to. Uh, it may not exist at all anymore. Um, I think it's going to be, um, going to have a lot of battles with the new technology. There are so many ways in which we as Americans are exposing our private lives and not really realizing it through social networking, through things like that. So the fact that we have all these cameras monitoring us all the time, it's just another way in which we're being uh, monitored and which we're sharing our lives. There are ways to protect our privacy and there are ways to make us less paranoid and to not worry about the fact that cameras are filming us. People know they're there. Yes, yeah. they're there. We're not, we're not responsible for anything people do with this information we put out there, we're just letting people know. And they should.